I want you all. I hope you all are doing wonderful out there. Grade 11 Science Chapter 3 is in front of you. One more beautiful time. Mixture video number 12 is in front of you. And we are going to talk about vaporization or evaporation. Now, we already talked about the mechanical method of separation, right? And definitely we talk about mechanical method of separation under five different categories, which is in front of you, definitely. The methods such as winnowing, sieving, sifting, floating and subjecting to magnetism. That separates component of mixtures are called mechanical methods. Let's get into the today's subject, vaporization or evaporation. That's what we are going to learn today. Okay, last time when we are ending the video session, I was asking you a question about sand and the sugar mixture. How are you going to do that? Let's see whether we can get some clues from this session. Okay, here you go. There is a beautiful land in front of you. Here, you may have observed the extraction of salt from the seawater. Now, that that is a seawater and the salt place where they are extracting what salt from the seawater what happens here is that the water evaporates due to the solar heat under the sunlight that seawater will get evaporated and then this salt will remain the salt will remain now what are we going to do here you go water gets evaporated and the dissolved salts get precipitated that precipitated salt you can extract it that's what that uncle is exactly doing he's helping us to eat the food tastily without salt you can't eat right okay that salt is made like that now in this transaction during vaporization the unnecessary components are vaporized by supplying heat to a mixture and the essential components is isolated now the water is getting evaporated and the salt is remaining. This method is something called vaporization. Now look at this very carefully. When metals are dissolved in mercury, when metals, several metals they are talking about, when there yeah, you can see that one, when metals are dissolved in mercury, a special solution known as amalgam is formed. Now it can be an MCQ question to you, mind you. When metals are dissolved in mercury, a special solution is known as A, B, C, D. In that amalgam, you can find. So, if you know that one, you can answer it precisely. So, be aware about it. Now, that amalgam is formed. This amalgam, you can, the doctors are normally using that amalgam in the tooth filling these days. It's a mercury filling, right? Now, this is known as the gold amalgam. This is known as what? Gold amalgam. Now, this in that gold amalgam, when impure gold is dissolved in mercury, a solution of pure gold is obtained. Now, let's understand how it's happening. Gold In the gold amalgam, when you are heating that gold amalgam, the mercury will get evaporated. When the mercury is getting evaporated, you have pure gold in your hand. Voila. Now, what happens to this mercury that is getting evaporated? They will cool that mercury evaporated and they will get what? The evaporated mercury is cooled and used again. Now, you did you get that idea? Like when you are getting evaporated things, you can cool down and get it back also. Voila. Then you can get a small idea about getting evaporating the sugar yes evaporating the sugar can you evaporate the sugar if you can evaporate the sugar from the salt the fallen truck yes to the sand can be separated and the sugar can be obtained back again sugar can be obtained back again now you can think about our last question that i have given you now we are going to talk about the next subject another separation method until I meet you again in another beautiful session, I'm going to meet you again in another beautiful session. Bye-bye and take care of yourself.